now this is how most industries lay out their production pipeline models are built with maya and zbrush texture artists texture using painter designer and mari riggers rig the models in maya animators animate their shots in maya the animation data is exported to houdini for simulation while katana takes charge of lighting finally all renders are brought into nuke for compositing now this is how the pipeline for almost all big vfx houses worldwide looks like if blender would become an industry standard then one big studios in vfx and games would have to make blender a primary or as part of their primary tools integrated in their pipeline two it would have to be a strong reliable alternative to any of the softwares used in the pipeline or one of the softwares would have to suck the tools of blender which means blender is going to replace that software completely okay my name is james welcome to my channel gear solid the big players in the space currently are maya 3ds max and houdini if you are dealing with a pipeline you need a strong and tested reliable tool while the official Blender short films are amazing, keep in mind that they are mostly made in Blender itself and isn't a mirror of how production happens in bigger studios. Blender is incredibly fast and at the moment very much superior compared to other softwares when it comes to developing concepts. Tools like EV, Hardops and Box Cutter are Blender's stronghold when it comes to concept. We have the likes of frame store using blender in developing most of their concepts which is a good entry point for blender making its way into the industry most freelancers and hobbyists find blender to be a huge improvement but guess what it's actually not gotten anywhere close to meeting the niche or solving a particular problem for larger vfx houses a big argument for using blender is the fact that it's free but unfortunately this is only half the picture there are lots of costs associated with a software which you can't measure purely using the cost of its license only example if a studio were to switch their main tool from maya to blender they would have to one retrain staff and two rebuild new tools and pipeline if you are replacing maya with blender you need to invest heavily into blender in getting it to the same level as maya we are not talking about remaking a few python scripts and going to bed no blender's developing team would have to build significant amount of tools for each department don't get me wrong the big studios are also very much up to date on technology and their pipelines are changing over time some recent changes in vfx have been the change from custom solution in maya to fully embracing houdini when it comes to simulation bigger studios across the world have also transitioned from using maya for lighting and rendering to a dedicated lighting software called katana blender replacing houdini or katana isn't quite clear because these tools are incredibly specialized powerful and highly tested but blender replacing maya is technically possible maybe in the next decade or two which means if you are an amateur or even a freelancer using other 3d softwares but contemplating as to whether using blender or not i can confidently say add blender as your secondary tool you actually have nothing to lose since it's free a freelancer using blender and a healthy collection of add-ons would have an incredibly powerful software suite at their disposal but as we speak right now if you want to work in bigger vfx houses then blender shouldn't be your main backbone since those houses aren't even um, hiring blender users maya houdini and 3ds max can get you into any company if you are a professional always learn blender as a backup tool for now personally speaking i play around with blender just so i can help um, people around me who can't afford any other 3d software out there also it's going to be a plus for me if a company is hiring blender users but as it stands now i'm not going to bypass maya or houdini on my machine and use blender for any of my professional works using blender is a good start for amateurs who don't know when how what or where to start from since it's free you can take advantage of it practice more and also oh I will be sharing most of Blender's add-ons with download links in my description.
in my um, subsequent videos and also explain what they do so you can have a fair idea about what you are downloading i have lots of add-ons on my machine which i would be glad to share i would keep you updated with most new add-ons and certain powerful plugins that you might miss there are so many good sides and bad sides to using blender which i'll be talking about in my next video okay if you loved this video then the sub to the channel will be very much appreciated see you in my next video